Hello and welcome to Monsignor McCoy High School's second graduation meeting for 2022. Over the next few minutes, we'll be giving you some important information uh, that both parents and grade 12 students need to know as we journey through the winter and get closer to our grad. My name is Paul Bosch, Principal of Monsignor McCoy High School, and I'll be presenting some information a little bit later on, but first we'll have Mrs. Melly present some information. So for the requirements to get your high school diploma in Alberta, you need to have your English 30-1 or 30-2, your social 30-1 or 30-2, any grade 11 math that is 20-1, 20-2 or 20-3, a grade 11 science that could be bio, chem, physics or science 20 or science 24. You have to have your COM course your phys ed 10, that could be three credits or five credits. You also have to have 10 additional option credits that can come from CTS options, fine arts options, second language classes, or phys ed 20 or 30. And the last requirement, sorry, the second last requirement is 10 additional 30 level credits. That it means it has to be 10 credits from grade 12 courses, but that does not include the English and the social that were in the above categories. Of course, at the very end, you have to have a total of 100 credits uh, for that last requirement. If any student is wondering what uh, credit count they have, they can check their MyPass account at any time. So for MyPass, that's a government account that the guidance counselors have set up for students starting when they were in grade 10. That is where you can go to order your high school transcripts. You can view your diploma exam marks on there. Uh, McCoy will register any students to write diplomas the first time, but if students need to rewrite diploma exams, they have to do that through their MyPass account. And some online schools require that the students register themselves as well through their MyPass account. You can also view and print your detailed academic report, which is a transcript of the things you've done in high school and the credits you've obtained. You can view your progress towards your credentials, so towards your diploma, you can see that checklist and how far you are in each category. You can order additional copies of your uh, high school diploma once you get it, and you will also get important notifications about diploma exams on your MyPass account. In, in terms of participating in the graduation exercises at McCoy, we do uh, have you meet the requirements on this page. So a graduation ceremony is a celebration of the students successfully completing the requirements below. If the requirements are not met by April 27th, you will not be put on the final grad list and not invited to attend the grad. So you have to have earned 90 credits by the end of semester one to be on the first grad list or uh, certificate of achievement students would have to have 70. We want you to have a potential for 100 passing credits by the midterm report card in semester two. So credits for failing courses are not counted. The certificate of achievement students, this number would be 80. Religion 15, 25 and 35 should be successfully completed. So you must be passing religion in semester two by the midterm report card. If you're registered in a religion 35 through cyber school, we would like half the course to be completed and you have to be passing. CTS courses have to be completed on schedule so you cannot be behind in those. If you're doing distance learning or cyber school courses, you must have completed half of those and must be passing those or those credits will be deducted from your uh, count at the time. All school fees must be paid in full. You must have completed a 20 level uh, social studies and a 20 level English and be enrolled in the 30 level of these subjects by the beginning of semester two. And of course be passing those as well. The certificate of achievement must have completed a 10 level and be enrolled in the 20 level. The first tentative grad list will be posted at the beginning of March and we update that regularly. The final grad list will be posted on April 27th and that is after the midterm report cards are available. 
And just a note at the bottom, if you participate in the grad ceremonies, it does not mean that you will receive your high school diploma or certificate of achievement. Of course, after the grad ceremonies, there is still parts of your courses that have to be completed and credits that have to be earned through um, coursework and exams. And then vice versa, also earning a high school diploma does not mean that the student will be able to participate in the grad ceremonies. So you have to meet the criteria on this list if you wanna be in our grad ceremonies. If you don't meet it at the time, you still have an opportunity to get your high school diploma before the end of June. Grade 12 awards. So there will be an awards uh, booklet in your package that you have received. And if you have any questions about that, uh, that awards package, you can see Mrs. Grisbrick or Ms. Jackal. Students need to complete that form and circle or highlight the awards they're interested in or eligible for. If a student is not interested in an award, please submit your name and personal email address anyway, even if the form is blank. Uh, completed forms are to be handed in at the front office no later than March 1st and please record any deadlines that might apply to you. So once you hand in the sheet, um, it's now our property so you might need to take a picture of what's on there if it says that there's a, an application that's due at a certain time. Some awards require additional information or application forms which you will receive from Ms. Grisbrook once she's received your form back and knows who needs what for each award. Okay, I will now pass this off to Mr. Berzminski to talk about some of the other sheets in your package. Yeah, if you could please turn to page two in your uh, grad package, you'll see some information uh, regarding grad photos. Um, it's not a slide here, but if you follow along in your grad package, you'll see what I'm referring to. Uh, individual pictures will be taken at SC Photo with an appointment starting, with appointments starting on February 15th, and you can book online at scphoto.ca with your student ID as your password. That student ID is found on the front of your grad package. All grads must have their photo taken for the yearbook and composite photo that are used during the grad ceremonies. Um, also for the yearbook sitting, uh, there's two pictures that are taken and that is done at no cost. If you require a full graduation sitting at SC Photo, that's $20 extra on top of uh, any type of fees for grad and that's paid at SC Photo. Ordering grad photos is totally optional at your expense. Most importantly, when you're taking your photos, boys are to wear a white shirt and a black or dark tie for their photos, and girls should wear a white V-cut shirt or a tank top, and that's important so that everybody looks like a, a nice uniform uh, picture for their grads uh, during the ceremony and for the yearbook. So I'm gonna now start looking at the colored sheets in the package. The first one is the grad decorating sign-up sheet. It's blue in your package. Now grad decorating is a huge undertaking. It starts on the Wednesday, but it, there's a lot of planning that goes into grad decorating way before the ceremony or the week of grad. And we need many volunteers, students, and parents to help out. And we would ask that you contact uh, us by filling out this sheet with the information and submitting to Mrs. Pancoast by March 1st. One of the most important undertakings is at the end of grad, when the banquet is done, we need many volunteers to stick around to help us take down the grad decorations so we aren't there all night removing the decorations. Um, the decorations are very important. They make the, the, uh, the week uh, look very festive, so it's a very important uh, item that we, uh, we want to make sure it's fully covered. The next one is the graduation song. Just as it sounds, we uh, collect graduation song titles from the grads, so all grads, please fill out this form. Um, very important in terms of the song, the lyrics in the songs have to be appropriate for a Catholic school. Um, any uh, lyrics that are not appropriate would never be considered in terms of being a graduation song, so please don't submit those songs. Um, but there are a lot of great songs out there that can be utilized for our grad songs. We use them at the, uh, at the banquet, use them for the grad march, and it's a nice keepsake. Everybody still remembers their grad song from high school. So please submit that form to the office according to the date on that sheet. Uh, the next sheet is the graduation gown order form. So gowns this year are keeper gowns and they're included in your grad fees. You need to fill this out according to the sizing chart at the bottom. Um, everything this year is kept, the, the, the gown, the v-stole, the cap, and the tassel. If you would like to order more tassels, 
maybe one for your car, maybe one for your home or whatever the case might be, you can do that on this form. They're $4 extra um, and you'll, you'll pay that as an extra fee on top of your grad fees. And that has to come into the office as well. Grad write-up for the yearbook. Um, that needs to be uh, submitted as well. This form has some great ideas for you to fill in. Uh, your nickname, your pet peeve, your best high school memories, uh, future plans, special thanks, all those types of things. Uh, again, whatever you put into this document needs to be clear uh, and appropriate for a Catholic school. Anything that is vague and uses abbreviations or anything that we are not sure of, it will not be submitted into the yearbook just because we don't want to have any offensive things in our yearbook. The next item is the ceremony speakers and the singers. Uh, on this sheet here, the orange sheet in your in your package, you'll see that we uh, always sing an O Canada at the ceremony. So we're looking for one or more grads to lead us in the O Canada. We also need a master and mistress of ceremonies for the banquet. Uh, we need somebody to do the grad prayer, uh, the grad award presenters. And again, that's two people, a male and a female. Uh, toast to the teachers would be a, a, a grad. Toast to the parents as well would be a grad, but the toast to the grads, we would ask that you nominate a parent from the grad group that you think would be uh, great at giving a, uh, a toast. And again, all these things uh, will be submitted prior to grads so that they can be vetted and appropriate for our grad ceremony. The bright pink or fuchsia color uh, sheet there is for the student award nominations. Uh, again, you would fill this out according to who you think would fit each one of the categories. Uh, there's two male nominees and two female nominees for each one of the categories. Fill in as many as you can. Uh, try to spread it out. There's a large grad, grad class um, and we like to give out as many of these awards as possible to a variety of students um, and they're always a fun thing for our grad banquet. Uh, and again, submit that form with all the other ones into the office by the date at the bottom of the page. The last colored sheet, I believe, is the grad mass sign-up. Um, we need a number of people to help us out with the, uh, the grad mass, including uh, students and potentially uh, parents if they choose to do so. We could have uh, students uh, doing the readings, uh, scriptures, uh, candle bearers, cross bearers, present, uh, the presenting of the gifts at the altar, singing in the choir is always uh, something that we like to have a number of our grads do. Uh, and then also if you play an instrument, you might want to get involved with the choir as well. Uh, altar serving and if there's any Eucharistic ministers uh, in the parent group uh, we would definitely be welcome to having you uh, participate in our grad mass. And now I'll pass it off to Mr. Bosch again. Okay so one other piece of information that's typically in our grad package at this time is around banquet ticket information how to purchase and uh, how to go online and, and purchase those tickets um, at this time, that information is not available to us, so we cannot present that to you. Uh, as the weeks pass and we get that information, we will be sending that out to all of our parents and grade 12 students, both through email and on our social media platforms. So please stay tuned for that information on banquet ticketing. On this slide, um, I speak to the grad week itself. And I know over the last couple of years, we've had non-traditional grads uh, due to the COVID pandemic. And as we sit here at this time, um, we're still not certain, obviously, as to what things are going to look like in um, spring, in May. Um, but we are making our best guesses and, and planning as, as much as we can at this time. So it is our hope and expectation. And as you can see on this slide, our goal is to use the dates that we have selected um, for May 25th, 26th, and 27th to be able to hold our rehearsal and graduation ceremonies as well as the banquet. So at this time, we are hoping that we'll be at the Cypress Center for this event. Obviously, stay tuned for information that confirms or changes this information as we move a little bit further on. But hopefully, we'll be able to confirm that earlier than later because obviously for families, a lot goes into planning for this, including relatives out of town that might be traveling. So we'll try to get that information out as quickly as we can. But at this time, our goal is that we will be having what we would call a normal grad at the Cypress Center. And you can see the dates and times of important events that occurred during that week. So the week prior to grad, which would be Friday, May the 20th, we would call the grade 12s uh, together in the gym and we would talk about the grad week. 
Every high school in this area has their own grad week and at that time their school is highlighted in the community certainly and so the behaviors of our kids that week we want it to be festive, we want them to be punctual to the events that are occurring but we want to make sure that they're highly respectful both in the school and in our community with the different activities that they would be involved in. So we'll talk to the kids about that on the Friday prior to the weekend going into grad week. Um, we are going a week later than we typically have the last number of years. Usually we are on, on that Friday before, Thursday and Friday before going into Victoria Day long weekend. This year we are going the following week, you will notice. So Victoria Day is on Monday the 23rd and then school starts on that grad week again on the Tuesday. On Wednesday the 25th, for those students who are involved in grad decorating at the Cypress Centre, they might have some work to do that Wednesday depending on their progress. Um, and then at 3.45 we're calling all, all of our grads to the Cypress Centre so we can have a really important rehearsal both for um, the ceremonies themselves and we actually have the kids go through a grand march up into their seats. So we want to make sure that we look like professionals for that event so that that rehearsal on the Wednesday afternoon is very important. Then we move to Holy Family Parish for pizza and the rehearsal of the Mass. And again we want the kids to know where they're sitting and what the different activities will be as part of the Grad Mass. Thursday we begin in earnest. Uh, those that are involved in the choir for the Mass will be practicing at 11 o'clock at Holy Family. All other students will be done at the end of period four to get themselves ready to be at the church for the three o'clock graduation ceremonies or mass sorry at, at Holy Family. Uh, some students might want to get there early and take some photos in front of the church which is typical and probably very important. Um, sorry 3.30 is the grad mass. We ask the kids to be there at least or about 30 minutes ahead of time for that. Uh, we get those kids organized um, in two rows as they enter the church. Ceremonies then follow the Mass. There'll be some time for some food and getting people over to the Cypress Centre. Uh, again, we ask the kids to be early because we're going to get them to the back of the Cypress Centre um, for that event. And then the, the grad ceremonies is almost exactly 90 minutes every time. So at about 8.30, the kids will be done. There again might be some photo opportunities with the kids in their gowns and they'll return them right there at the Cypress Centre um, at 8.30. The following day, um, the big activity of course starts with the banquet. Doors open at 5 o'clock back at the Cypress Centre. Banquet begins promptly at 6 o'clock. And then following that and the different act fun activities that take place after that, including toasts, um, there will be a short dance, starts at 9 o'clock, ends about 11.30. And uh, that takes, uh, kind of concludes the official grad week activities. Um, that Monsignor McCoy High School is involved with with our grads. So important information there including the information at the bottom of the slide regarding alcohol. Um, really important event and there are kids of all ages there as well so we ask that people do a good job managing that aspect and of course no alcohol is allowed inside the building. Um, so yeah so we'll go through all of that information with our grads closer to the day but it's important that people are all, all people are aware of that information. Um, so yeah, so that's all we have for this particular presentation. As always, if you have any questions about this, you can re-watch this presentation as many times as you, as you like. And you can always contact the school, talk to counselors or school administration. If you have specific questions about grad, any of the information we presented in the package, or specifically how your son or daughter or you are doing in second semester. Thanks for your time.